Who is your garbage person? My garbage person of the week is Lauren Boebert. So Louisiana passed a law mandating that you have to put the 10 commandments in classrooms and folks who didn't like being having a religion forced on them spoke up. Lauren Boebert is very mad at them. Take a look. I don't think that it's bad to have something that says honor your father and mother so that you will live a long life. That is the first commandment that has a promise attached to it. I don't think that it's bad to teach children that adultery is something that you should not do. And also listed in the 10 commandments, thou shall not steal. And maybe the left and some of these politicians are having a meltdown over having that right there listed in our classrooms, thou shall not steal is because government hates competition uh, and they don't want our children to realize that that's something you shouldn't be doing. Come on, you moron. Don't you realize that you're supposed to be the party of religious freedom, not religious mandates. And people who don't have your religion are forced to go into a classroom as a child and look up and see the Ten Commandments. We are supposed to have a separation of church and state. This is something that even Charlie Kirk in his history has said should be kept sacred before he changed his mind because he realized even something that obvious is controversial in the right wing of the Republican Party. The video will continue in just a moment, but first I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival, so please go to tyt.com slash team and become a member today. Yeah, I honestly, I went to Catholic school. I didn't know there was a honor thy father and mother so you can live a long life. But I don't understand why Lauren Boebert would want the Ten Commandments in classrooms. They would just remind her and her family of all the ones they've broken. So for example, Donald Trump, I don't know if you've known this. The first commandment is like, I am the Lord your God. You should have no other gods before me. There's another one that's like, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. I feel like if you only have 10 commandments, those shouldn't be two of them. But anyways, Donald Trump, according to Bobby Orr of Politico, using the Lord's name in vain. Evangelicals at the time chafed at Trump's blasphemy. Thou shalt not steal. President pays gigantic fine for stealing from charity. But Lauren values the Ten Commandments when it comes to the family specifically, she says. Setting aside all the time she's born false witness for political gain, another violated commandment. I'm not going, I'm just going to say, she who is without sin cast the first stone. Well, here's your own, you cast this stone from your vagina. This is your son who was arrested, felony arrest connected to recent string of vehicle trespasses and property thefts, and not to mention the unspoken 11th commandment, don't show your junk to kids. I'll remind you, Lauren Boebert's husband did jail time for lewd exposure in a bowling alley. She was there. She was also there when she lewdly exposed her hoo-ha nippy whippies to, uh, to someone to grope when she was watching Beetlejuice. It's just like, I don't think they get it. And and she thinks this is such a great idea. I it's backfiring, lady. The way the strategy is back, it, I'm triggered by most of the imagery in my high school. Period. And if you're adding the Ten Commandments to it, people are going to get more averse to your religion being shoved down their throats than they already are. Here's a, a you know experts are saying allergic reaction to the U.S. religious right is fueling the decline of religion, according to experts. The percentage of church going American is steadily falling, and the swirl of right wing politics and Christianity is playing a key role. The younger generations, many people are turning away from religion because you're foisting it upon them. Jordan. Yeah, I think that's that's right. That the religious right and the way that it is so closely linked to the GOP is probably the biggest turnoff for many people who might otherwise be interested in participating or believing or practicing, especially in public or even proselytizing. The way that has also transformed like the suburbs and the exurbs is really fascinating to me. I read a book recently called uh, Exurbia Now 
about how just outside of these suburbs, these towns where you have mega churches and deeply, deeply religious communities, because they're turning so radical, it's completely transforming the political makeup. I mean, this is where you're seeing hotbeds of militia activity and a lot of people getting into like super anti government sentiment, but it's all closely linked to religion. And within that, you have this fundamentalist, dominionist, white nationalist movement. And that's just really horrifying when you just fast forward 10, 15, 20 years and that goes completely unchecked. And the people in Congress who are pushing stuff like this, knowing it's all BS, knowing they don't actually practice those values or turn a blind eye when it's politically expedient. It is really disgusting. That's a, that's a great pick for garbage person. I, I, I like that. Good job, Brett. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.